हेलो वेलकम टू येट अनादर ट्यूटोरियल इन ग्नू खाता सीरीज इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट द मेजर रिपोर्ट्स विच ग्नू खाता ऑफर्स टू यू सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड टू बिगिन विथ वी नो दैट ऑल दैट मैटर्स फॉर अकाउंटेंट्स एंड बुक कीपिंग फॉर दैट मैटर आर द ट्रांजेक्शन और द वाउचर्स एज वी कॉल इट सो लेट्स बिगिन बाय लुकिंग एट द लिस्ट ऑफ वाउचर्स we can go to find and edit voucher in this screen you will see multiple options you can search by voucher number or you can search by amount you can search by narration you can search by the time range so i think these are all uh, self explanatory so we are not going to go into each of the option for the simplicity sake let's select the time range and select the range which it gives it's the entire financial year range you can actually change it and then look at the list of vouchers here uh in fact you can compare it to uh some proprietary softwares which they have uh, they call it as uh, daybook so you can compare it to that but of course uh, several softwares will have several different names for different things but the concept is the same this is a list of vouchers you can actually open a voucher from this screen itself so let's open one voucher well uh you can see there are several options here as you can expect you can print the voucher you can delete it you can clone it as in make another copy or you can edit it these are the uh, options as you can see uh the other important report which i think most of us care for is the cash flow statement so let's open the cash flow statement it's also available in the sidebar and you will also see the shortcut key for that the cash flow statement again you'll have to select the range this is a cash flow statement as you all know uh needless to say that uh, this tutorial will require some amount of uh, accounting domain knowledge so this is a cash flow statement for you now we will have a look at one of the major report that's the balance sheet so let's go to the reports menu and open the balance sheet we have two types of balance sheets uh maybe we can see both of them let's open the first one so one is the horizontal one and one is the vertical one we'll see them both of them so here's the balance sheet uh let's open the other format as well here's the other format uh so needless to say that you can actually export the balance sheet to a spreadsheet an excel as x file and as you know that uh, it's a standard so if you want to send your data to your auditor uh, you can actually export it to excel as x and uh, send it directly in a future version we plan to have an option to directly email uh, the spreadsheets or the report so that it gives you additional uh, convenience so now after this uh another major report which uh, all of us are really concerned with and that is the real reason why we all do business or trade is the profit and loss statement so let's look at the profit and loss statement here is your profit and loss statement friends uh the standard which most of us follow and as you can see it's a very uh, beautifully presented statement even this statement you can export to a spreadsheet and send it across to your auditor for uh any further uh, auditing purpose and of course needless to say that the tutorials which we have gone through before have uh, made invoices and then we also did some manual vouchers all those are reflected in this report so whatever your profit and loss is you never had to or you hardly have to do any transactions from an accounting point of view as you know gnu khata automates all this for you so uh this is your profit and loss statement uh, there are several other reports which we will uh, study in future but for today this is krishnakant mane signing off goodbye and have a nice day